8 degrees here in the car. State of charge went down to 98.3% since the charge has finished at 4 o'clock. This is um, almost 4 hours ago. So, um, battery temperature 14, 18 degrees, 4087 volts with some light load on it now while driving. I'm tempted to turn on the heating at 7 degrees, but the, aircon uh, the engine will kick in straight away. So, um, the only thing I can try is if I set the temperature to 18 degrees, it should not fire the engine, but I doubt it will actually heat. We can uh, give this a go. Try to turn on the air condition and we have to be quick turning down the temperature before actually the engine can kick in. 18 degrees, but I'm not sure if the heater actually comes on. It does come on. It does come on in 18 degrees. Okay. That's a new feature. I didn't know that. <clears throat> and when you set the aircon to 18 degrees, the um, climate control to 18 degrees, the engine will not fire even if the car is below 7 degrees. I think it will fire if the temperature goes even lower at 2 or 3 degrees or even minus degrees outside temperature. The engine will still fire but now it's not doing it climate control is on engine is off but let me show you this it's not heating it's not heating there's no heating action going on let me try to push it to 18.5 while we are driving and let's see what's happening then. Okay, 18.5 climate control and the heater comes on and still no engine. If I push it further up to probably 20, 22 degrees, it will fire the engine because it realizes it needs more heating. Um, but 18.5 seems to be fine and the heater is on with 4.5 kilowatts full power Now I make it nice and toasty this morning because it's Tuesday and I can charge at the club, which is awesome I have to read the meter today end of the month Payday tomorrow is payday for them. I think we've used about 35 including today probably 40 kilowatt hours over there for a full month oh yeah oh yeah nice and warm air coming out 18.5 doesn't sound warm does it and if you have only seven outside <laughs> yeah the consumption will go through the roof now with the heater on And we're putting even more strain on the battery now. Oh, that's all right. I probably plug it in at about 10 o'clock or so and leave it charging until 1.30, 2 o'clock when I do my lunch. And then we unplug the car again and give it another rest time after fully charged until I go home. Then it rests again until the night and I charge again. Strange smell. It smells like burnt. It's probably the heater. Now I think it's one of the cars in front of us. And you should, when you have the aircon on or the heating, you should always have the circulation on as well. It saves you energy. See, so the heating already went down now to a couple of hundred watts now only. Because we probably have reached the 18.5 degrees in here. That was my overpass reading, 7.8. 7.8 ampere hours at the overpass here my every morning reading <laughs> crazy um, without the heater we've got about 6.8 or so so it's one ampere hour lost for the heating so far but it's fairly clear the heating uses more energy of course the question is just how much more does it use 
it's sixty percent state of charge, so it's about four four percent less state of charge now in the battery um, due to the effect of the heating, of course. And if you were wondering, the the cooling water temperature is still at thirteen degrees. The heater actually only heats up the air. It doesn't heat the water around the motor or something. It's not a yeah. So the motor still stays cool even if you have the heating turned on. Okay, we give the car two or three hours rest and then plug in here at the club, charge up again, and go from there. See you later. Okay, so minus one point one lost. And battery temperature is 18 and 21 degrees, so totally safe to plug in now with a 10 amp cranny charger. And um, then I measure again when I come back from lunch and see what the temperature actually does. Okay, 55.5%. So it shouldn't take longer than two hours to fully charge. Three hours later. Let's see what we have. Mm, 99.7. 99.7. Just moving the car away from here. A bit more space here in the entrance. And I can park in the shade here. It's getting pretty warm already in the car now. The next day. I've got um, four degrees nearby the house, but when you go a little bit out in the garden, we've got only two, two degrees. And I'm trying to trick, I'm trying to trick the heater again. I have to start the dog first, of course. See what's going on because the charge has finished already at about 11ish. So it is over eight hours on standby and we still have 98.7% state of charge. Um, battery, battery was never that cold, never ever before. That is insane cold. Okay, so let's give this a try. I think the um, climate control still sits on 19 degrees from last, from yesterday morning. And when we turn it on, we have to be very quick to turn it down to 18 degrees. Otherwise the engine kicks in. Four degrees, it shows us. Maybe we are getting the ice warning again this morning. I'm not sure, it might be. It will be very cold in the valley. Okay, let's try that. On, now engine kicks in straight away. Engine comes on straight away. It is too cold this morning, that's why. I'll leave it on 18 degrees and see actually if the engine turns off after a while. As soon as I hit the button, the engine kicked on, kicked in. So yesterday it was on 24 when I drove off and still running. And I was able to push it down to 18 degrees only. So it gives you a couple of seconds before actually it reacts, but this today it's it's a lot it's a lot colder than yesterday. And the engine comes on. That's what I meant yesterday when I said I think it kicks in when Okay, it's off now. Okay, let's see. If we do have any heating at all here, electric? No, we don't. Okay. We'll push it up to 19 degrees again. Engine kicks in engine kicks in okay go back to 19 18 the engine kicks in straight away in serious mode as soon as I turn up the heating a little bit from 18 to 19 degrees okay it has turned off again the heater is on just a little bit okay I try again 18.5 18.5 will work. Let's see if the heating comes on. Yep, heater comes on. 18.5. Now, there's the engine. Engine is running. 
5.6 liters per hundred kilometers. Are you crazy car? Okay, so in these Arctic freezing temperatures, there's no electric heating possible without the ice heater stop and the PRGV box, which um, did not work in my car. And I've never heard back from the manufacturer. So totally useless. No heating, no heating this morning. I'm freezing to death. 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. That is crazy. I will charge the car at the club this afternoon, of course. I will have around 60% state of charge when I plug in. And it shouldn't take long to recharge them. Keeping the depth of discharge as low as possible. Just arrived at work, 15 kilometers left. Six degrees, a little bit under half of the battery gauge and 62% state of charge. So potentially I could make it home even if I don't charge here. But we don't want to drop the state of charge too low. So um, I've got the opportunity to charge after lunch. Look at the consumption, 11.5. That is without even having the heater on. It is a very high number due to the cold. Let's see what the battery temperature is. 19 degrees max now. So it has risen from 15 to 19 degrees only. Yeah, I charged um, early last night because I wanted to see how cold the battery actually gets. The weather forecast said we will get some probably light frost in some areas. And we had uh, 2, 2.5 or something degrees in the garden. And I just wanted to see how far it actually goes down. Um, it wasn't too bad actually. I thought it goes a little bit closer to 10 degrees or so but obviously it's not cold enough or I didn't wait long enough okay now 19 degrees so it will warm up a little bit now you have a great morning many hours later looks like the car is still charging here so I couldn't charge to 100% I plugged it in at quarter to three and now it's five quarter past five ten past five and car still charging 20 minutes Okay, I'll um, stop charging now and let me go home on 98% uh, state of charge. Yeah, turn off the car. So we just arrived with 66.9% uh, state of charge. 66.9%. That is that is amazing. And the battery is now 26 and 29 degrees warm. And I wonder if this has something to do... I'm, I'm using less energy on my way back than in the morning when I go to work. And I wonder if this is related to the battery temperature. Because this is almost, yeah, this is 10 degrees more now than we had in the morning. And even if we have a little bit more elevation on my way back home, um, I'm using less energy. Also a factor is the wind. The wind usually comes from the west here and in the morning I'm driving westbound. So I've got headwind and in the afternoon there's usually no wind. Or if there's wind, um, I've got tailwind. So this makes a difference as well. So both these factors, the temperature and the wind, may be uh, um, affecting this whole energy consumption quite a lot. I would say that is about that is about 10% what I'm using less energy on my way back home in comparison to my way to work. Interesting stuff you find out. Okay guys, thanks for watching again. Um, we see you in the next video. You stay charged. Bye bye.